Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Chelsea and today we're going to be talking about how to pick a slow feeder bowl for your dog. So there's a million slow feeder bowls out there on the internet, but how do you know which one will work for your dog and which one won't work for your dog? Let's talk about it. I first want to chat about why you would need a slow feeder bowl, what it can be used for, and things like that. So you may want a slow feeder bowl for your dog just to enrich them. It's a fun enrichment activity that switches it up from their everyday bowl, but it also has another very important attribute to it, and that's that it helps dogs to slow down their eating. If dogs ingest their food too fast, they can get bloat. And if your dog gets bloat, then it can be fatal. So we want to avoid it at all costs. And slow feeder bowls really help to slow down your dog during food time. Slow feeder bowls are not a one size fits all option. There are so many options and it may depend on what kind of dog you have, what breed they are, what's their age, do they eat fast, things of that nature. So I'm going to give you some of my favorite options for all of these. So we're going to start off with pretending you have the average dog. Let's say they eat normally at a normal pace. You're just looking to use this for food enrichment. So we're gonna start out with this bowl. This is a good classic basic bowl. It has the spiral and I really like this one over other ones because it's easy to clean. So I don't really wanna be spending uh, a long period of time trying to clean my dog's bowls. I want it to be easy peasy and this one is a great starter bowl for that. Uh, these are also pretty durable depending on how your dog eats their food out of a slow feeder bowl. It's a great basic, good starter, it's a good price, so this is a good place to start. So say you need something a little bit more versatile or you have a dog that you feed raw or wet food. The silicone bowl is going to be perfect for your dog. In particular, I like this one because it has different compartments and it makes it really easy to separate out different kinds of food and to just switch things up for your dog. I also really like this one because it doesn't just have to be used for a meal, you can use it just for enrichment. So oftentimes when I use it, I'll add water to it and then add some fruits and veggies in different compartments or I'll use maybe some dog-friendly baby food maybe some of those like apple pouches that you have get for kids as long as they're dog friendly i add those in as well so those are some of my favorites um it's also really easy to clean so that's a good good part of the silicone bowls if you're looking to just start out with slow feeding you kind of want to dip your toes in you don't want to buy a whole new bowl they make inserts that you can just put into your regular bowl, but it still has the same function. So it will definitely slow your dog down while they're eating, uh, but you don't have to buy something completely new. So that's a great starter option as well. The insert is also super travel friendly. So if you travel a lot and you don't wanna lug a whole bowl, but you know that your dog will need a slow feeder, this is a great option. You can bring it with you, just throw it in your bag and it'll work for most other bowls. All right, I had to go <laughs> get my dog's bowl for this one to show you. So this one next is gonna be for shorter snout dogs. Doesn't have to be pug, shih tzu, or anything like that. I have a pit bull, but she has a shorter snout. So this is the bowl that she came with from her foster family, and I just wanted to show you. You can kind of see it. This is all of her teeth marks on it. This is a good durable bowl, but it just didn't work for my dog. So the next option is that you can get flat slow feeder bowls. So it's the same concept. It'll be made of the same material, but it's much flatter so that they don't get frustrated and come out with a bowl like this. Um, this is actually, we went through about three slow feeder bowls before I ended up finding the flat one that works perfect for her. So this is the one that we have. I absolutely love it, would recommend it to everyone. It's super durable, but still slows her down because she's a super, super fast eater. So last one I'm gonna talk about is if you have a senior dog, oftentimes they might have teeth issues, they may have gum problems, and slow feeder bowls just don't work for them. It may hurt them a little bit more. So we wanna give them something that is soft and accessible to them. So this is one that I really like. 
Um, it doesn't typically work for more active dogs, especially super chewer dogs, because it's much easier to pull these things apart. So I don't typically recommend it for those kinds of dogs, but for dogs who just need a little bit more love and extra help while eating their meal, but still need it because they are gulping down their food. As an added bonus, I'm going to be adding some of my favorite slow feeder bowls. Uh, I've tried out a few of these and I love them. They're just super fun shapes uh, and, you know, add a little pizzazz to your dog's life. And so check them out and let me know what you think of them. That's it for today's video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll see you guys next time.